Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm Nick Pino, the EMF guy, and I'm the author of this book, The Non Tinfoil Guide to EMFs. And uh, I wasn't planning on doing a video, this is a bit improvised today, but I want to show you something when it comes to reducing your exposure to electrosmog. So that's not my office, it's the office of my stepdad. And um, I've got here what's called the Cornet meter, the Cornet ED. 88T and what I'm looking at is these numbers and this is radio frequency or microwave radiation So what we're reading right now as you can see is 0 0.4 uh, Around let's say peaks of 0 0.4 and normally you you'd want to stay Under 0 0.2 during the day, but if you're sensitive, maybe 0 0.06 So these numbers are uh, numbers you want to aim for What's important to notice here is that you've got multiple culprits that could explain the, these levels. You have a printer right there and right there I see a wireless phone and of course there's a computer. So if the computer is on Wi-Fi then you're emitting this micro radiation. So let's look at ways that we could reduce it. And uh, if I take the meter and that's one way you can use this meter is just have it go near the different sources. And this one, if you go near this the CT phone, you see that it goes up to six, six volt per meter. So it's definitely, it is, it's just as strong as a, a Wi-Fi router. So if I'm sitting here at the computer, it's not ideal. And it really, uh, it really depends on convenience here. Now it's a choice to either continue to have this phone or I could have a corded landline instead. To make sure that I found the right source, what I could do is simply unplug the phone and see if the levels go down. So right now I see just an average. I'm about, let's say, six inches from the source and I see uh, two or three volts per meter. And please note, th this meter isn't the more, most precise, but I'm just trying to uh, to sweep here. I'm not trying to come up with scientific, scientifically accurate numbers. You can see the difference here once I unplug this phone, right now the base station is unplugged, uh, it drops to, well, zero. So you can see this thing will not emit. And then you can continue uh, swiping around, sweeping around, but you can see that the levels in this room are essentially, and that's, that's very rare that I see such levels, are extremely low. So this is a very low EMF place. Uh, that I can expect. I could sleep in this room and sleep like a baby. So this is really just uh, to show you how one source of EMFs can fill the entire room. Today's lesson is simply that uh, these CT phones or those cordless phones are a high source of EMF. So you got to choose for yourself. If you want to reduce your exposure, you can have a corded landline, especially because this is an office environment. This is something where the convenience likely wouldn't be a factor because you're likely you stay in the office. For other situations, you make your own choices, but my recommendations that I would do, and I'm not a building biologist, but would be to replace this phone with a corded landline and dramatically reduce the levels in the room. And the symptoms that one might have staying at this computer all day might be fatigue and overall uh, premature oxidative stress. So you get more, more stress from this source. That is pretty much needless exposure because you could replace it. So uh, keep that in mind. Do not use the ECT or cordless phones if you can help it. I am Nick Pino, the EMF guy, signing off, and I hope you like it. See ya.